from now. What do you mean a thousand years from now? Uh, say what? Weren't we just talking about Twilight's birthday party? Yup! It has to be a very super ultra awesome special birthday party! I mean, it's her first birthday party since she became a princess! Oh, you're right, darling! I'm really excited! Well, I knew that! And I, Pinkie Pie, can I allow just an old ordinary party on such a very special day? So after thinking and thinking and thinking, till my headache got a headache... I can't think of anything at all! So? So... I had to think outside the box. Instead of just making the party bigger, I thought why not change the time? Since Twilight's a princess, she's gonna be alive for a long time. Even a thousand years from now. And she'll be lonely, right? Cause we'll all be long gone by then. I guess... Just think how awesome it would be if they used a time machine to go to Twilight's 1000th birthday party! It'd be the best birthday of her life! But what about the birthday party for this birthday? That's not important! We'll still be with Twilight on her birthday, no biggie! But Pinky, we don't have a time machine. That's, uh... Hmm... I've got an idea! Young eyes see everything you've ever wanted Hope dies when it won't come true But realize the possibilities are endless In time it will be all for you Are you hoping, trying, praying, crying But your destiny will come in so young and you are so free but you're brainless and i can't help but see that you don't know what you really need are we there yet are we there yet you've done it all from a to z are you trying find your destiny doctor uh -huh. Looks like we're back in the present. My present, anyway. Is this the end of our journey? And you, what are you reading? Well... It's a book I borrowed from Agent Equestria called The Origins and Biological Characteristics of Alicorns. Alicorns are creatures that possess the traits of Earth Ponies, Pegasi, and Unicorns all at once. Traits that are supposed to be genetically incompatible. They also have the ability to manipulate psionic energy. Not to mention, they have an immortal lifespan. In theory, I was curious about how such a perfect life form came to be. I see. Now I know why you came here. You want to investigate the new princess, right? You catch on quick, my dear. You're talking about Twilight, right? Pinky, how did you- Ouch! How did you get in here? The door was open, silly. Oh my, I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. Todd just let them in. But why? I'm not quite sure. This requires some investigation. You girls are friends of Twilight's, correct? Come inside and let's have a talk. Okie dokie dokie! <laughs> Whoa! What is this place? Let me introduce myself. I'm the Doctor. And this is my companion, Roseluck. So, ladies. How's being inside the TARDIS so far? Is this a time machine? Looks like the interior design needs some touches. It's a lot bigger on the inside. Is it some sort of magic spell? I wonder if Twi could make my barn look bigger on the inside like this. It's okay, I guess. It could have been cooler. Maybe about 20% cooler. It's ah. a really amazing 11 dimension matrix! <laughs> See? This is why I say ponies are boring. Nothing ever seems to surprise. 
I don't particularly like having this much company, but since we're all inside the TARDIS, what brings you here? Do you ladies have somewhere to travel to? We want to go a thousand years into the future to meet future Twilight because she's probably super sad and lonely though, so we're going to sell for your birthday party to cheer up. Ah! It's going to be awesome! Uh, sorry, come again? To future Twilight's 1,000th birthday to celebrate. Oh my. Does she know about this? Excuse me? Never mind. Ladies, I strongly recommend against this. Why? Why? Is something awful going to happen in the future? It's not exactly the same peaceful equestria that you know. You probably wouldn't be in the mood to have a party. And your friend Twilight has changed so much over the past 1,000 years. She may be very different from what you're expecting. Certainly, you shall be disappointed. Just the same. Are you okay? That's just another reason to go! Friendship shines the brightest in hard times. Are you certain about that? Definitely! Well, I guess I have no choice. future Twilight is doing. She's probably as tall as Princess Celestia, don't you think? Doctor, what are you thinking? Doctor, can I talk to you for a minute? Sure, as long as it's not thing too difficult to answer. It's about what y'all said before. It's been bugging me since we left. Do y'all know something about the future? Absolutely. Rose and I have traveled to the distant future several times. Can y'all tell me about it? Like, how Twilight is doing in the future? Twilight. After the end of the Age of Sun, the Age of Stars began. Empress Twilight became the new ruler of Equestria. Since then, she has taken control of the Sun, the Moon, the Stars, and everything else on the planet. She is known throughout the world as a wise mare who knows all. A powerful wizard who has mastered every known spell, and a mighty warrior with a will of steel. That is who she has become. Hold on. I get her being wise and powerful and all, but did y'all say warrior? Are y'all saying Twilight became a warrior? One earns one's titles through achieving great things. That includes titles like warrior. In the 973rd year of her reign, Twilight claimed glorious victory over the forces of Crimson Changelings. She saved Equestria from what would otherwise have been a massacre. I see. So if she won, there shouldn't be any trouble, right? So why'd y'all hesitate before? Did I? You definitely did! Are y'all hiding something? Y'all may have seemed like Equestria ain't peaceful at all. But according to that story, the war is already over. So why- <laughs> What on earth has gotten into this thing? Oopsie. <laughs> Did I do something wrong? What do you mean, oopsie? Did you touch the control console without my permission? Nope. I was just looking for a good gift for Twilight. What have you done? You've just opened a wormhole to a pocket universe inside TARDIS. You'll overload TARDIS if you do that. Ah! We're falling. We're falling. Ah! Hold on. Worst ride ever. Oh, I see. Do you guys have fun adventures like this all the time, Roselock? It's not usually like this. <laughs> it looks like we're in the right time period, but I'd be happier if we knew where we are. Wait here. I'll have a quick look around. The sky is so red. It must be getting pretty light. No, it's still midday. You sure? Looks like the sun is setting to me. In this era, night and day no longer exist. I'm not sure why, 
but Empress Twilight's power has weakened during this time period. Hi, did you find which way to go? Well, I did find a way, but... How should I explain this? What an Equestria has happened to this place in the last thousand years! Maybe another creepy zebra shows up! I'm scared. I can't believe how many Boba comes. This. I'm starting to worry about Sweet Apple Acres. Doctor, I thought you said the war was over. This is the aftermath of the war that started seven years ago. Cantal has fallen, and the refugees have gathered in Ponyville. This slum was the result. Tantalot has fallen? Oh my! If there are refugees living here, how come it's not crowded and noisy? Where is every pony? Oh, well, maybe it's nap time? All those ponies can't just suddenly disappear. She looks suspicious. Let's follow her. She might know something. Over there! We're losing her. Pinky, got any ideas? Ooh, I have one! It's party kind of time! <gasps> nice catch! Ha! Gotcha! <laughs> now let's see who's been trying so hard to flee from us. She's just an ordinary pony. That's not important. I want to find out why she ran away and what's happened to this place. Hold on. Where's Doctor and Ava Pony else? They're probably way behind us. They could all use a little more exercise. I can't find them with all these roofs covering everything. It's all my fault. I shouldn't have gotten distracted. It's not your fault, darling. They're simply much too fast for us. This place is more like a pony maze than a ponyville. Doctor, what should we do now? We'd have more luck if that blue pegasus looks for us. The best thing we could do is find somewhere more exposed and wait for her. Is there a bell tower nearby? No. Uh. Easy now, fella. What's gotten into you? We have to hide right now. If we stay here, we're all going to die. What's that sound? I think it's coming from the bell tower. And I'm not sure it's being used to tell time. Maybe it means those things will appear. <laughs> We're too late. T Timber wolves? They may look similar, but those are iron wolves. Creations of Empress Twilight. After her long research on the core of the timber wolves, they are some sort of golem. And they look hungry. Do you have any ideas? In situations like these, one really only has one option. RUN! Ah! Don't leave us behind! 